Hello everyone, uh, this is Daniel here. Uh, right now, I'm back at Coles Hill, and I'm basically standing on top of a, a very large, undeveloped uranium deposit. And I made an earlier video here, but it was real short. Uh, it didn't really give you a chance to see the scenery. It's real beautiful. So, and last time I had a scintillation detector, and I was uh, about 100 yards down the road there in the ditch, and I was measuring the readings. Uh, but this time I brought another one of my detectors with me, and I, I just got this one. I think I paid like 50 bucks for it. And it's a pancake probe. It's a 2-inch pancake. It's a technical associates. And the the meter works, but the, the needle, the, the needle doesn't work. But the probe itself works and you can hear the clicks and uh which uh it doesn't bother me but and here is my scintillation detector is a lot little model 19 and this is what i normally use but i figured we'd come down here and try both of them out and see what kind of readings we get all right so let's see what we can get here I mean, in background in this area, not where I'm standing, but in this area is about six or seven micrograms. And right now, see I'm on the lowest deck eight scale, and I'm getting about between 20 and 25. So let's go on, let's see if we can walk around and see what kind of readings we can get. All right, now we're on the second decade scale. So that's about 40 micrograms an hour. All right, that's about half of what we will get up there. So we can go back up here to see if we can get any higher readings. And the funny thing is, it's a it's a cow pasture right here, and They've been eating on, on this ground ever since I can remember, and they have no health effects, uh, bad health effects that I've ever noticed or anyone else has. They just kind of become used to it. All right, let's see what we can. Right, we're getting about the same right here. It's a, it's a hot spot up here somewhere. I don't know the exact spot. All right, we're going up a little bit. Then what we were, there we go. You can hear the difference, just a couple of feet. Right here, it's, there we go. I want to go up to the third decade scale. Give me a sign, a really good spot. That's a pretty good spot. Now we're going back down, so it's probably the warmest spot that you could reach is around around this area right here. That right here is warm as it gets. All right, so that's the simulation detector. And that uh, involves a sodium iodide crystal and it picks up uh, gamma radiation. So now we'll go over here and get the pancake probe to see what kind of readings those will get. And on this you have to ignore the needle. Let's just listen to the clicks. See if I can bring it up over here to where it won't pick up too much to see if we can figure out what, sort of what background is. And you can just compare the clicks. Here's one rock just laying on the surface. Let's see what we got. It's a little warm, but not too much. And I've got uh, I got some pretty decent rocks in this area. You can go out here and dig them out the ground, 
and I have another video that uh, shows those and I can get uh, some, some pretty good samples all right let's go down here to where we won't really get in that high of a reading to see what this just lay it on top of the ground and see what we can detect it's not not too unusually high but you can tell a little difference let's put it down here in the ditch that's about the same all right let's go up here where we're getting the high reading and the scintillation detector to see if this also gives us a higher reading and you can clearly tell what it it does see where is the there's one spot that we were getting the high. I think it's about right here. Let's see if we can dig out. Spot right here. And that's clearly higher than the normal. But not, it's not too high, it's not dangerous or anything. Uh, uh, one guy lives right on the side of those trees. He lived there all his life. People, one guy lives down this road and uh, the healthiest normal population. So even though it it is above normal, it doesn't affect anybody. It used to be a house you probably won't see a green roof down there uh, no one lives there now but they used to and I'm sure they had a whale that went directly into the surface but yeah this is a uh, Coles Hill and it's a funny story how they found it I think they were driving down the road and someone had one of these detectors in the in the vehicle and because because this deposit comes to the surface they uh were riding driving down the same road right here and saw the increase in the readings and decided to check it out and uh long story short now it's uh it's known to have over 110 million pounds of uh yellow cake or uranium whatever um and it could be more they can't on the side of those trees they can't do any test drill drilling because it's a uh it's a historical site it's a house about a few hundred years old where the uh owner of this land lives and uh he's not allowed to do any drilling so it could be more there and he's not willing to uh give up that area to drill or even mine they're trying to uh develop this land they could do some open pit mines and possibly go on the ground to get under his but he uh he loves where he lives and he doesn't want to ruin this place so well, and I'm looking to get a uh, a Lutland Milo 3 soon, and I'll probably get a pancake detector and a scintillation detector for that. Probably a plastic one, not a sodium iodide one, because I already have a sodium iodide one. It'd kind of be wasting my money, but uh, and they're plastic ones. You can get much more expensive uh, for less money than you can the sodium iodide one so and I'll come back down here with that if and when I get it all right that's about it